I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, You're killing Tom Cruise. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could actually use a sword like that in a real fight? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Visibility yeah. from the the homemade. I was a bit scared to to smash John's head. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of UK Stuntmen React. We are very excited today because we have an amazing performer in the studio with us talking about some of his greatest stunts. We've got Liang Yang. Hello. Stunt former, fight coordinator, amazing friend. Uh, <laughs> Liang, tell us a bit about what you've been doing in the stunt industry. I have been working in the film industry just over 10 years. During the 10 years, I luckily have been working on some amazing uh, projects. Edge of Tomorrow, Star Wars, Wonder Woman, 1984. Sometimes we work together with George and uh, become a very good friend. Nice. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, discussing some of Liang's stunts. We're also going to look at some other cool stunts today as well. Let's jump straight into the first clip. <laughs> Mission Impossible 6, Mission Impossible Fallout. We're big fans of this scene, we love this. What did you do in this scene? I played the... the it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I played the, uh, the John Luck. Fight with uh, Tom Cruise and uh, Henry Cavill. What were these guys like to work with? Amazing. I mean, the whole thing we shot in and out about uh, two weeks. And Tom and Henry didn't use stunt up at all. Wow. So they did all the fight by themselves. Amazing. Yeah. And I was very excited not about to play the part. Right. I was very excited to do the fight. Yeah. Because after we made the fight, and I just straight away fell in love with the fight. <coughs> the old uh, shotgun arm, arm <laughs> was, that, was that Cavill's idea? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they, they not just learn the fight, and also at the same time, they put on their the character, character into yeah. the fight. Well, that's what makes a difference, right? The, exactly. It takes just being a fight. Uh, unique, to... exactly. Yeah. yeah, nice. That angle to shoot, that kick, yeah. you, you cannot cheat. No. You have to impact, yeah. you have to touch it. Every single take, even the camera off us, only watch Tom Cruise's reaction, and Henry will request, kick me for Tom. Wow. That kick, I remember, was 13 takes, and without a pat. So on set, Tom changed his shirt after that 13 takes, and I look at his chest, all the blood mark. Wow. All around his chest. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, You're uh, killing Tom Cruise. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, oh, that's it. You know the, the, the worst thing for Stalman to do? You, it's her, the actor. You, her, her actor. Yeah. I was like, oh, I, I feel, I feel many, many sounds wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, 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 no. And this is uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I was like, oh, Tom, Tom, I'm so sorry. He said, no. He said, you did, uh, you did ask me to put on pads, and I refused. I wanted to do it and they wanted the camera feeling the pain. So Tom Cruise is as kind of method, well, as, as into his stunts as everyone said. Every single take in this fight and also in every single action in that film. Tom Cruise is the real deal, everyone. You heard it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Tom do the throw because it's a combination between Tom elbow me yeah. and I was on the wire and then Henry catch me and threw me at the right time. On the number three take, and they told us only one glass left. <laughs> and me, no, and no, Harry, no. me and Harry start like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> have we got it? Have, we, have, have, have they got it? Yeah. And luckily, on the, on the third take, they got it. The sugar glass I cut through my, my leg a bit. That, oh, wow. That's yeah. the thing, it's like sugar glass, it, it's made to like disintegrate very easily, so it needs to go through, but it is still actually sharp. Before we do this gag, right, we decided to uh, uh, put on pad, you know, the stump pad yeah. on, on your leg that he knew. He knew that the sugar glass could come in leg. And because you know the influence from Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't wear a pad. Yeah. He wants to see the real hit. I said, no <laughs> way. <laughs> I said, I'm okay. After the three take, I start to feel my leg. I, oh, stomach glass, even in my skin. Oh wow. I was like, okay, okay, I'm not gonna say anything. So embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Even and though I, you've got blood to pick out your legs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Every take, I just worry to pull his hair off. Yeah. <laughs> I just mimic it, yeah. right? But every take, he said, go for it, let me feel it. I want to react to it. <laughs> There's a few takes after I look at my hand. That's Superman's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Superman's I'll keep that hand. for later, just put that straight in your pocket. <laughs> Sell that on eBay. Yeah. From The Force Awakens, Star Wars film, it's kind of like one of the best 
scenes in the film, it's the traitor scene. And this is actually Liang in the Stormtrooper outfit. What is this weapon you're actually using? Stormtrooper baton. And how was it to actually kind of wield in real life? It's very, very heavy and off of balance for spinning and okay. swinging. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for this sequence, I hold that weapon almost every day. Just to get used to it. Because it's heavy, it makes the impact a lot harder. So very difficult for John Biego, the actor, as well. And his lightsaber was heavy too. You were helping to train the actors, right? Yes. With, uh, with their sword work and, uh, you know, the fight choreography stuff. That's right. And what, yeah. what was it like working with Daisy and Boyega and stuff? Were they fun to work with? They, they train very, very hard. They train every single day, especially Adam, Adam Driver. He trained four hours a day. Wow. And we have a force him to sit down and have a break. <laughs> And what, yeah. what was it like fighting inside the Stormtrooper armor? Is it easy to uh, fight in it hard? The actual Stormtrooper costume for the people who are using in the background. Yeah. You, you only can lift the arm yeah. right. about here. I remember. On the day, they just cut this bit and that bit shorter for me. Right, okay, nice. So that can have a little bit more range of the movement. Visibility yeah, yeah. from the, the helmet. I would be scared to, to smash your head. <laughs> I can attest to that because I, I did some stormtrooping on, in this scene actually in the back. The weather wasn't great, so it like, rains, so then yeah. you get all the moisture and stuff come up. Trying to do a fight in it, you know, with, with an actor as well, but it's been pretty, pretty tough. <laughs> Just talk us through what, what you had to do for that. It's called like a gooch wrap, right? Yeah, it's a, like a half gooch wrap. So the, the peak point is the front of my hip and across my, across my shoulder. As soon as I pull, I do a half turn and the half a flip land on my back. It's a cool impact. Like it look, yeah, it looks uh, yeah. cool. But Liang, am I right in thinking that jerk isn't the only one that you did on the film? Almost everywhere pool in this film. Full of us test almost every single gag for the whole <laughs> film. Okay. And on the day we get a chance to perform them. Nice. So, yeah. Come find me when you wake up. Were you doubling Tom Cruise in this film then? Actually, yeah, <laughs> double for the, for the actress, uh, Emily Blunt. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So obviously, you know, you're not particularly a match for uh, for Emily. How, how comes that happened? So during private time, me and the, the team together work on all the movements. I've designed the most uh, Emily Blunt's movement, the character's movement, and they end up with just asking me if I can lose a bit more weight and the doubling the girl <laughs> only for the, the wire gag and the fatal movement. Yeah. And we had another stunt girl double MED. What were the old mech suits like to work in? They look like they're pretty heavy. The suit is very, very heavy. It actually is over 40 kilo. They made a, a rubber version for Tom, but he refused to use it. He want to feel, <laughs> he want to feel the weight. It's true. He said the camera, the audience can see, can feel when you wear something is fake. When you're, when you're flying through the air, you know, doing these kind of spinning moves and stuff, is, is that all, again, like wire work? Most of all the twisting, leaping the air moves is by hand pull. So that's guys literally by hand yes, pulling the jump off the box or ladders. Are they just doing face replacement? Like when, you, when you're going through the air, it looks like Emily's coming towards camera doing the big sli slices. And stuff. Some of the movement, leaping the air, Emily rehearsed a lot. And on the day, he did a few of them as well. Okay. So they shot a boss of us and then they use it in the end, like mixed together. What was it like wielding that huge anime style sword that she has, this huge? Oh, the, the big sword. In the story, it's made of helicopter's blade. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually they just uh, give me a half sword oh, okay. and the CG the rest in the film. Oh, okay, right, yeah. okay. Because very heavy and very off balance. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. no possible hold that at the same time twisting there. Do you think you could actually use a sword like that in a real fight? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Star Wars Rogue One. I actually really liked this film. I don't know about you, George. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a wicked film, but it's one of the best ones. Yeah, and what did you get to do on this one? I was uh, a performer and assistant fight coordinator for this film. I'm very lucky to get a chance to double one of my action hero, Donnie Yen. Amazing. For this sequence. That's got to be a bit of a dream, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, Donnie has uh, his own amazing stunt team follow him everywhere. So Tony was in, insist that want to bring his own stunt double from course, Hong yeah. Kong. Then Robert said, uh, oh, uh, just let me show you what Mike I can do, then you can decide later. Uh, quickly shoot uh, my training sequence, send that clip to Tony, and uh, luckily, Tony okayed with it. And uh, when, when, when Robert told me that news, I was so excited. I said, oh, you can double me yeah. with my action hero? Only a week after Robert told me the, told me the news, and I was rehearsing for a wear gag and broke my foot. Two masatasos broke. 
I was so gutted. Oh, no, yeah. Because I cannot double Donnie anymore. This sequence actually was uh, after three months recovery, my foot. And the first thing, first action thing I did after my recovery. Yeah. Nice. Donnie is amazing. Even the step back when I trapped the arm and walk backwards, the way he wanted me to walk back, take me about three takes to he happy. Even just walk backwards. <laughs> yeah. That's because he's got years of that, yeah. cra that craft. Yeah, and, and exactly. It's amazing to get that kind of feedback and yeah. you know, to be able to learn from from a master like Donnie Yen. Yeah. yeah. I have to kick his face before he reaches the gun. We did a few takes. Right? So after a few takes, the cameraman said, Oh, I can't see the gap, I can't see the gap. Right? I don't feel the impact. Maybe just uh, go a little bit harder. Then we tell James, Okay, just make sure you know next one going to be a little bit more impact. I want to impress Tony. <laughs> yeah. Right? I just want a little bit more harder than, <laughs> than what's, <laughs> what, what's supposed to be. <laughs> Poor old James. Yes. After the take, he took off with the helmet. And then someone said, James, you know, see the awful place. <laughs> so James looked at the mirror. I broke his nose. Oh, from wow. Okay. Oh, God. And he was, he, he tried to ignore it. He must feel the pain. But yeah, of course. Just, he just tried. I'll never look at that cake the same again. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a clip from a film called Saho, which is an Indian action film. What was your role on this one? I'm fight coordinator slash stunt coordinator for this sequence. So they brought us in only for this particular sequence. Okay. It's a cool location as well, the look of it. Yeah. They used the two weeks to build the whole building. So this is actually like a very like vertical fight sequence without going up but working up basically. Yeah. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of things, a lot going, things on going on here. The wear gag is a little bit floaty somewhere, but you yeah. know, we only had a but few days in had to build. I find like the the kind of Indian, the Bollywood stuff, like it's always a little bit heightened, a little bit over the top. Oh, is that kind of, exactly? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it kind of it kind of fits. Whoa, whoa, that's a big fall. Like. So, so, that, so he's on a wire, right? And then as he's falling, they're just slowing down yeah. by hand, so they don't just plow into the ground as hard as. And the next sequence we shot uh, on Phantom Camera. <laughs> Or well, Phantom Camera, uh, 1,000 frames per okay, second. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah. the, the oh, 300 yeah. stars. Yeah, we did three take for this. Oh! Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know the zoom in and out? Yeah. yeah. Actually control the way the action director pump on set. Well, so it, it's physically zooming? Physically zooming. Oh, okay. Because yeah. with 300, it was like separate shots so they kind of jumped yeah. between. Well, that's an actual physical... Yeah. Wow. He's zooming it. Does this guy have like superpowers? How was he able to just <laughs> destroy these guys? He said he wants, they like an exaggerated right, feel okay. of the superhero. <laughs> but those guys, none of them are stunt performer. Oh really? Okay. Because you can't find the big guys in India as a stunt performer. So they are purely bodybuilders and uh, like a background actor artist. The director tell the uh, stunt coordinator, okay, this is what I want. The good guy, save that guy on the top yeah. and uh, then leave the entire sequence into the stunt corner to design. Which I think in a lot of cases is how it should be, you know. But he can basically just go, right, see Jack Puma, and then he goes into a gym, he has to fight with guys in the gym and he basically lets him go crazy with his imagination. Yes, on, exactly, on what he can exactly, do. yeah. Really hope you enjoy the show, guys. Thank you very much to Liang Yang for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Tune in next week where we've got Joey Ansa, who you may recognise from the Bourne Ultimatum films. He's also got his own series, Street Fighter, Assassin's Fist. So thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. What? <laughs>